Hello everyone, KTR Gaming back here with the second episode of University of Louisiana Monroe Dynasty. In today's episode, we will be simming through week one and week two, and then we will be playing week three. Starting out this episode, we will be playing University of Oklahoma in week one. Real fast, I will be doing all recruiting off screen, so before every single episode and every single week, I will show you the recruiting board. So this is our recording board, cur board currently. We are still only about 50% recruited with some because of the head coach tree. Hopefully we will get an upgrade this week and be able to upgrade that skill tree to where we can scout 50% of a player at once. Currently we're going after players that are looking good, whether that's Richie Mack, Isaac Vincent, Andy Brown, Vernon Gibbs, Lance Mason, Gary Cook, Chris Ward, Darren Warren, Dan Warren, and Nate Stewart. Okay, with that said, we will now get into week one. Let's change up our jerseys. Let's look nice and presentable. I haven't seen any of these jerseys yet. They're looking nice so far. Oh, we've got our way. We'll just go with the classical way. The P40 does look pretty cool. We might have to try that out for our first home game. We are in a big deficit compared to Oklahoma. We are only a 74 overall, and Oklahoma is a 93 overall. So we'll see how this game goes. So how's everyone's day going? Did you have a good past week? I hope so. We'll look at our top players and their top players. Their top players are Benito, Brickick, and Mims, who are Mims is going to be a scary wide receiver that we are, that hopefully we can deal with. Our top players is Webster, who is an 82 overall, Shelby, who is an 81, and Sparks, who is an 80. Hopefully we can get up and running in that. And here comes the chariot. The Sooners are taking the field now. This is their season opener along with ours. This is their first game of the season. They're hoping that it's a cupcake. But we're hoping to give them a little bit, bit of a struggle. Hoping that maybe we can get it the point where maybe we could do a little bit of damage to their legacy so far in their number two overall ranking. Here's the coin toss we will call heads, or tails, corrections, sorry. We will win the coin toss and we will like to kick first. They will like to defend, right. Here we go, we will stem to the end of the game and we will see how this goes. Scoreless almost to the first, but however, we do give up two quick touchdowns to Oklahoma. And there's the third, 21-0. We have not scored our first points yet. There we go. We got a touchdown, 21-7. 28-7, Oklahoma scoring back. We scored back two, 28-14. Scoring 14 per points in our first game against Oklahoma is promising. However, we did give up 42, which is a big problem in our defensive side of the ball. We did get 10-plus first downs. We did hold our opponent to under 300 passing yards. Rushing yards, we probably didn't do too well then. We did force a turnover, which is nice, and we did score two touchdowns. I will take the two touchdowns, being it is our first game. Let's look at player stats. Rodriguez had a decent game, not great. He did get sacked three times. He did only throw one interception for two touchdowns. So, better, but not, not great. So, we'll see. He did have a 119 rating, which is pretty good. 15 for 33 completions. Not quite a perfect. 50% completion rate like we'd like to see, uh, but he is getting close to it. 237 passing yards. On the rushing side of the ball, Phillips had 18 attempts for 46 yards at a 2.5 average. Not necessarily good at all, being at 18 attempts. Rodriguez rushed three times for 13 yards. Sparks rushed twice for nine yards. Jackson had seven, Hickman had three, and Henry had negative two. Receiving yards, Jackson was our best at 88 yards for 6 receptions, which is pretty good. Did not have a touchdown, however. Sparks did have a touchdown at 55 yards for 3 receptions, which is better. It's pretty dang. We like to see that. 18.3 average. And, that, and then Mathis, our tight end, had 41 yards for 2 receptions and a tight end and a touchdown. On the defensive side of the ball, Thomas did lead our team along with Newton and Solo. Uh, tackles for TFLs. Thomas did also have the most TFLs at three. Did we get any sacks? We did have one sack. Ty Shelby did get one sack for us, and then we did not have an interception, which means that we must have had a fumble, 
uh, by Webster. He did force the fumble, did, and he also recovered his own fumble, which is nice to see. We love to see a fumble. He's hitting hard. That's good. Uh, Sutherland did go perfect on his extra points, and that is it for stats. We'll exit the screen. So we did lose. However, I am happy to see that we did score two touchdowns against Sooners, who is a very good team overall. And with that, we'll be seeming, seeming to next week against FCS Southeast. And I will see you after I finish the recruiting board. And we are back. We just finished up recruiting for this week. I will show you the portal fast. Nothing changed too much. We just scouted, finished scouting the players for some of them. We're at 75% scouted for most of them. Uh, most of these are going down. We haven't found a gem yet. We probably won't find any until we uh, get the um, scouting up to 100%. However, we do still have some points going to Reggie Mack, uh, Isaac Vincent, and Andy Brown, who looks absolutely incredible right now at set plus 7 overall. 85 zone and 85 man coverage per corner is absolutely beautiful to see along with 95 speed. And we are actually leading him. We just took the lead against Alabama this week. We are also fighting you know, some pretty big other schools along with Michigan, LSU, Notre Dame, Georgia, Wisconsin, and Clemson. However, we did take the lead and we are fighting hard for Andy Brown. Along with the other recruits that we're putting in points, we're putting points into Vernon Gibbs, Lance Mason, Gary Cook, Chris Ward, Dan Warren, and Nate Stewart still. Hopefully we can try to get some of these people to where we're the top recruit. We will go into FCS Southeast now and see if we can play them. We are actually higher overall. This will be our first game against a higher overall thanks to them being FCS school. So we are 74 overall and they are 63. Um, and we will see if we can hopefully beat them. Um, we'll look at the, uh, we will change the uniform. We won't go into our home for the first game. I'm thinking of this P40. This P40 does look really good. And I think we're gonna rock that for our first ever home game. And let's head in. So we can't see our top players, but we cannot see theirs, sadly. So we will be playing the Colonels, which will be a good game, hopefully. Hopefully we can come out with our first win of the season. Uh, and here come your ULM Warhawks at Malone Stadium. First game at the stadium. The stadium looks nice. We can see the track field in the background. And the stadium overall looks like we have decent seating for the most part, looks. And Southeast will get a call, the coin toss, and they did win the coin toss, so they will choose whether or not they want to kick or receive, and they will choose to kick. We will descend, defend our end zone, and we will now send this game till the end. We did stop them their first possession, and we did score. So we did take an early 7-0 lead, but they did come back with a field goal at 7-3. We just scored again on another touchdown going in half. We are leading 13-3 by 10, which is nice to see. Third quarter is about 10. There we go. There's the end. And almost so with fourth quarter. We are currently leading 13-3. Disappointed that we didn't score more, but we did start out the game hot with a first possession touchdown. And we did win the game overall. Now we will look at player stats, see how everyone did. Rodriguez did not do very good in the passing game. He did have one touchdown on 150 yards, which is not very good. We like to see him up in that 250 range like he had last game, where he went up to 300. His completion percentage was only 42%, which was not, which is not very good. That's not what we like to see. However, Phillips did have a very big improvement from last game with 86 yards for 23 attempts at a 3.7 average, which is better to see. Rodriguez rushed a lot more than I expected him to be rushing at 15 attempts for 47 yards, which isn't terrible for 15 attempts, but I don't want to see him rushing that much as our QB. I want to see him slinging the ball downfield. Receiving-wise, nobody really had too big of a game to the fact that we did not... Um, Pass the ball very much. Oh, by the way, Phillips did have a touchdown. Uh, Bloomfeld also had our one passing touchdown uh, and led us in receptions. However, leading us in yards was uh, Jacob Mathis, our tight end, who does seem pretty dang good for us right now, which is nice to see. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, leading us in solo tackles was Gardner this week. Tackles for not lost, Gardner and Shelby did lead us in tackles for TFLs. Uh, sack wise, we only had one sack, and it was by Jaquise Williams, and then interceptions wise, it doesn't. We did actually have one. Keyshawn Johnson, our middle linebacker, did get a pick and returned 
for nine yards. Uh, four stumble wise, does not seem that we had any. Um, so yeah, overall, I will say good game. I like the running game. The running game did improve from last game, but the passing game did go down, which is not good to see. We like to see both of them going up slowly but steadily. Uh, we did get our first one of the season, um, and that is good. Nice to see. Next week we will be playing Wake, Wake Forest, and I will be playing this game. Uh, you'll get to see the gameplay, um, and then I will see you after the recruiting board. And we're back. So we did decide to hold off on the recruiting board for now, given that we are only 15 XP away from getting our next skill tree upgrade. So we will do that after the game, hoping that we can upgrade this scouting point to where we can scout 50% of them for only 50 points instead of 25. So we will be able to finish off scouting for most, for all, most if not all of our players, which will be nice to see. So we will head straight into this game and we will do the recruiting afterwards. And I will show you that after. So Wake Forest is an 88 overall. They're a lot better than us compared to our 74. So they will probably beat us, but we'll gonna go out, try to best, try to get some points, and just try to see if our offense and defense can improve. Um, Wake Forest does have a wide receiver in Robertson, who is a 92 overall, who can be serious. Have uh, throughout the season so far, he's had 214 yards for only 14 receptions and two touchdowns, which is scary to see overall. But I think we can handle him. Hopefully, one of our corners can come in and stop him. Fox is, is leading them in six uh, tackles, and so we'll see if we can get a big stop on them. There's their QB. We're at Truist Field. This is a very nice stadium based off the looks of it. Very nice campus overall. Uh, we will get a call to coin toss. We will call tails, and we did lose, sadly. It was head, so they will get to choose whether or not they want to receive or kick. And they will choose to kick. We will de decide, choose to defend, right? Um, and let's see how this goes. Here's our first kickoff return of the season for user at least. And we will get a scare catch. We're not going to take that out too deep in the end zone. And you will not see the entire gameplay, obviously. I will show you the highlights. I will show you this entire first drive um, just for um, how everything will go. We will start it out by running. Hopefully, we can establish the run game early, try to get some yards in that sense. We do. We had a gap in the middle, but we couldn't quite fit it in, so we did get two yards. Not terrible, but not good at all in any sense. Um, we will try our first passing play. Uh, audible wise, we will be audible in a lot to see if we can get some concepts that we really like. Terrible, absolutely terrible ball from Rodriguez. Could not hit his guy at all. Which is to ex be expected when you have low overall like that in your lineup. Um, we'll just try a simple curl option. See if we can try to get uh, somebody open in the in the corner to go off. We'll see if Rodriguez can hit it. Good ball from Rodriguez, but to Jackson, he does get 20 yards off the reception. We're almost at the half 50 yard line, which is nice to see. The drive is going decent so far. Rodriguez did have an air throw on the first passing play of the drive, but then he came back strong for the second to gain a 20 yards to Jackson. Um, we will try a little play action, see if we can get them to bite on something. Um, let's see how this works. We will roll out. We will, we will choose to throw to Rasmussen, and we will get out of bounds after 11. Very nice play overall. We were watch looking to see if we had to scramble, but the corner did come up to take us. Uh, we will see if we can try to establish this run game still. See if we can get it r rolling. We have done three straight passing plays, so hopefully they won't see this. And we had a little bit of a hole, only two yards again. Phillips is kind of slow. I am realizing that now. Um, he, he's not the fastest player on our team when it comes to running backs, um, and he's not going to hit those holes as aggressive as some other big running backs in the league. And there's our first air picked off, and we can't tackle him. We try to fit in the slant real fast, 
to see it, and he just cut the route way too fast, and he air mistake on it. Me and Rodriguez. At least we get to see how our defense is going to be now. We are going to run a man zone for our first play, and they run the option. Oh, missed tackle. First play of the game for Wake Forest. They did get 22 yards, which is sad to see. We don't like that. Um, we'll just see what else we can do. Try a little cover too, see if we can get a little bit of something started at least to try to get the ball rolling in a positive direction. Another run, absolutely shooting the gap, breaking another tackle. 18 yard rush for Christian Beal Smith on his first rush of the day. This is not good for us at all. Good tackle, negative one yard rush, good TFL by Gardner. We love to see it. Really just read the play, didn't have anyone blocking him. He just went straight after the running back. Webster will be our user for most of this game. Maybe Johnson will come in every now and then. Another rushing play. In gar uh, absolutely terrible play. We had a, a point to tackle him and we missed it. He just got blocked and then we switched on and we were expecting something better. Bad way to start out this game. Having a turnover and giving up a touchdown on our first possessions each side of the ball. But hopefully we can come back in this next possession. From now on, we will be showing you, I will be showing you only the highlights. So please be patient with it. And if there's anything important you guys need to see, you will see it. Oh, and there it is. Phillips fumbles on the slip screen that we tried. Sad to see that. Big hit by Wake Forest, and Philip just coughs up the ball and loses it. Another turnover on our second drive, which is not good to see at all. We were doing fairly decent until then. We get in a couple yards, a first down or two, and then Philip just coughs it up, and we lose all the momentum that we were gaining. Missed tackle opportunity. But we do still get the TFL for negative three yards, which is nice to see. I do think our best option in this league with how much people are running on us to blitz a decent amount. Let's try to get in the backfield as fast as possible. It's like QB sneak there. And he does slide, 30 and seven. But we'll see if we can get our first stop, which would be nice to see. Um, I'm just gonna over a nice cover two. Try to cover the first down line. Make sure that they, if we, they do catch it, we will give up a catch short as long as we can stop them from reaching the first down. Oh, and the tight ends wide open. Blown coverage there. He just went right in between them. Two of them were covering that. Wide receiver and disappointing to see. We'll see if we can get a goal to line Sam, but we'll see. Let you know if anything changes. That is the end of the first quarter. So we did just, uh, we did get a tackle for loss. Uh, first play of the first down of. Uh, the goal line stand. And then the second play, they did try to slip screen, and we couldn't get there in time. Chapman was wide open. Disappointing. And there's the second touchdown of the game for Wake Forest. First drive of the second quarter. We'll see how this goes. Give you any updates if we have any big plays or big fails, I guess. Just cannot establish the run game at all so far. Uh, 
And big third down play for 17 yards. Book Knight does get open on the corner route. Absolutely beautiful route. Absolutely beautiful ball from Rodriguez. Rodriguez is still only 4 for 7. And an interception. But he is looking better since that first play. And we do like to see the improvement. Just get the ball out. Make sure that we don't take the sack. We should have considered throwing the slant there. But we are looking to see if we could get any space run. Or if we could get RB open. The running back open on the sideline. Sadly that did not work out for us. But beautiful read option there for rush of eight yards from Rodriguez. Third and two, manageable third down. And I'm kind of thinking we'll run the ball here. Um, we haven't been able to establish the run game, but we have been getting a solid two yards every single play, and I do think we can get the first down with this. As long as we, oh, absolutely shot the gap and lost one, two yards. Um, being down two touchdowns at this point of the game, I do think we will be going for this play. Uh, and we'll just see how it goes. I'm thinking a play action could be good here. We'll block the running back, try to see if he can get open, and we will wear slant sparks and have night. Boogie Knight just run a small drag down the middle. See if somebody can get open. And Sparks does get open for a game of six yards first down. Just under three minutes left to play in this half. And hopefully we can score before the half is over. Big play by Boogie Knight again. Boogie Knight is the savior for our receptions right now. Rodriguez just makes a beautiful throw to Boogie Knight, lead him into his route for a big catch and a big yard pickup. Big catch by Boogie Knight there for four yards. We are down still short of the goal line, uh, short of the first down. For fourth and one, we will try to run the same concept again. See if we can pick it up. We did have Knight on a slant that route. This time we will have him on a drag. Just not get it open. That's a first down. Good two yard reception. A minute 40 left in this half. About 15 yards from the goal line. Let's see if we can score big. Thinking we could hit A here on a nice route by Jackson. We might also have, I think we're going to also have Mathis go on a slant. Our tight end was one of our best players, and we did have A open. Just didn't feel like we could fit it in. So we had to throw it away, sad to say. The pressure got in there real fast. We will try to run the same concept, fairly similar again. I don't think Jackson will get open enough, but Bloomfield and Sparks will have slants on the routes. And Sparks is open for clean seven yards, third and three on the seven yard line. Just good to see, but it does look like that we may have an injury, sad to say. We'll see how that is in a second after this drive. Doesn't look like Sparks is injured because he is on the field currently at this moment. Uh, we will have Phillips blocked for us, Jackson we will be looking for, and we will have Mathis going to slant too because he is our big tight end. He is not going to get open. And we cannot get around the corner. Now here's the big debate. Do we go for it here and see if we can get the touchdown? Or do we see if we can take the field goal, take the points, and see how it goes? I, I think we go for it here. I think it's a big play for us. Uh, and we really need it. We all have Boogie and Jackson go for the slant here. Jackson is open and he does catch it. However, he is short. We will call a timeout with 26 le seconds left. We have about two two yards a game, maybe actually about one maybe. We will try to run it up the gut, see if we can get it here. Hopefully Phillips can break in. It is open and he does get in the gap. There we go. Ooh, that's a late hit right there. But first touchdown of the game. We are only down by hopefully hopefully seven going into the half. 24 seconds left, hopefully we can hold Wake Forest. Oh, a huge gain. Oh, and a broken tackle. Absolutely 
huge throw, wide open on the sideline. Absolutely heartbreaking. Well, we will have six seconds to see if we can do anything with the ball here. We will try a shot deep, see if we can get any sort of uh, distance on the corner or any sort of yards. They are pressing, which is good to see. Sparks is alone on the right side. However, the safety did drop back. But Sparks is open. Can we get, fit it in there? Oh, oh, and we couldn't fit it in. We didn't have the coverage enough and not enough separation. The corner did get a hand on it. Sad to see. But Sparks did have a small separation there for a second, which we did like to see. Anyways, into the second half. Here's the kickoff, and there we go. Second half has begun. Ooh, ooh, no, cannot let him push him out of bounds. He broke the tackle, but at least we pushed him out of bounds. Big 53 yard kickoff return. And wide open, perfect ball. Six for 615 yards, so that means no completion yet, and another touchdown for Wake Forest. Wake Forest is absolutely dominating us in this game, 28 to 7. So we did just realize that the person who got injured uh, at that one play was not Sparks, where we thought it was our QB. Rodriguez is injured at the current moment, and Wright is in. And we just cannot block for him. He's one for four for seven yards. We cannot block at all. We will see what happened to Rodriguez. See how long he is out. Hopefully it's not long. He is out for four weeks with broken ribs. That is heartbreaking. Our best QB, a junior leader, and four-time, four-year player. Absolutely sad to see. We will have to go to our backup, however, right? And hopefully he can do something for us in these next four weeks. Jackson just couldn't hang, hang on to the ball. Fourth and ten, we will have to punt this area in our territory. And it looks like to me, like the game is basically over. Unless some miracle happens, game's over. And hopefully we can just get a little, get some scores, get some touchdowns get some experience in order to beat and get these players up and rolling try to get a hot streak going huge tackle from glass there for a tfl third and four from about the 30 yard line if we can get a stop here, it will be absolutely massive for us. Uh, we are playing a man zone right now. Hopefully we can stop them. And he is wide open. I need to get, got the foot down. Uh, if they score here, we will just be showing you the highlights from our side of the ball for every single score that they get. Uh, we won't be showing it anymore, but if we get any interceptions or fumbles or big fourth down stops, we will show you. But other than that, it will mainly just be offensive. Uh, plays. So yeah, big 17 yard scramble from Hartman there. Absolutely tearing up our defense. So we did hold them for the most part. It is third and goal from the six. Uh, we will, hopefully we can see if we can try to stop them here. Try to hold them to a field goal. Let's see. And wide open. Just what a beautiful ball by Hartman for the touchdown pass. Absolutely just flew it straight over all three defenders that were there. Just beautiful ball, beautiful toe tap. Couldn't do much about it. Heartbreaking loss today. Well, if we have any highlights on the offensive side of the ball, you will see those. If not, see you at the end of the game.
Huge play from Boogie Knight there. 27 yard reception. Biggest one of the biggest plays of our of the game so far. That is only Jaya's second completion, which is sad to see. But we will get better as time progresses. And that's the end of the third quarter. We did drive down the field pretty well so far. Uh, we are just shy of the goal line. We're about on the 10-11 yard line currently. We'll see if we can punch it in for a touchdown here. We have had some really good balls to Mathis and uh, Boogie Knight so far. Uh, Jackson has contributed as well. Uh, so far, pretty good game. Oh. Try to force it in Boogie Knight. Boogie Knight's been a huge part of this game so far. Some of the biggest catches we've had this game has come from him. We just tried to force it into something that we shouldn't have. Um, we will see if we can get the tight end Mathis in. He did have a huge catch for us earlier. Force it in. He did get it. And he's just tackled short of the goal line. About the one yard line. We will see if we can punch it in again. We might as well just punch it in. Get a get the points, get the touchdown. I wish I could keep it for Boogie Knight or Mathis or tight end. But sadly, that doesn't seem like a smart thing here. We will just run it straight up the middle and get the touchdown. There we go. So just like the Oklahoma game, we did score twice, which is nice to see. And there is still another quarter left. So hopefully we can maybe get some more points. Let's see if we can get another stop on Wake Forest and hold them. Be back with any more updates. Huge third and short here for your Warhawks. Let's see if we can get a big stop. My money's on a rush. And we're just not fast enough to get there with Webster. We shot the gap perfectly. We just weren't able to get there in time. Webster just is too slow for Beal Smith. Big third down here, third and six with a minute 26 left. We are using our timeouts now, seeing if we can possibly try to get down the field and get another score, get some more points uh, before the half ends. Um, so yeah, hopefully if we can stop them here. Um, ooh. Big sack, big sack. Absolutely big sack from Ty Shelby there. Beautiful sack, we will call timeout with a minute 19 left. We will, they will have to kick the field goal. And you, you know, kickers miss all the time. Hopefully he misses it here and we get good field position to start out. And he kicks it up and it goes straight through the pipes. Absolutely beautiful kick. They do get the field goal, taking the lead 38 to 14. We will have to take the kickoff to see if we can get points. We will, we will see if we can get some more points to strive. Try to get us some more XP, some more experience, and just try to get more, better stats for our players. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can get hit anyone. Show you with any highlights that we have if we get down the field. Absolutely beautiful ball and catch by Bluefield. For 34 yards, Jaya Roy absolutely threw him an absolutely magnificent ball. We will run the exact same play. However, the safety did scoot back. However, it looks like the safety abandoned Knight to go for him. However, once again, the safety will leave him. Oh, and he overthrows him. We had him open again. Jaya Wright just overthrew him. Wow. Well, we'll be back if we have any more big plays. Here we are, 4th and 11 with 33 seconds left. We are at the 42-yard line. We'll, we will go for this, see if we can get it, because if not, they will just waste the time. 
throw it and picked off. Couldn't force something that wasn't there, but it was my only option, really. Sad to see. But with that, that will be the end of the game. They will just... They will just knee it, yep. And that is the end of the game. We will not call any timeouts. We will end the game. <laughs> Sad to see, but we will lose 38-14. But overall, I am proud of the game that our team played. We had its up and its downs. We had two really good drives where we got down the field really good, really fast, some beautiful passing plays, and then we punched the ball in, in the run game. We couldn't ever extinguish the run game that very well other than uh, read options. But after Rodriguez got hurt, our read option well, sort of went down the drain. Rodriguez was a big part of that read option playing, and he got injured, and we just couldn't get it going again. Sad to see him injured. He's injured for four weeks. But we will stick with Jaya right for now as our Q QB then since he is injured. Um, and we'll hopefully Jaya Wright can get something going. Uh, we will not look at game. Actually, we will look at game stats for you guys just so we can all look at it and everything. So passing wise, Rodriguez had 89 yards, 956%. Uh, completion percentage before we did get injured. Wright had 118 yards for 44%. Uh, neither of them had a touchdown. They each had a pick. Um, Phillips could not get the running game uh, going at all. Uh, he did get two touchdowns, several punching in. Rodriguez did have five rushes for 21 yards again because of that big read option um, uh, run game. It did help us out a lot with Rodriguez. Uh, yardage rise, Knight did lead, lead the team with receptions at 6, um, and along with also 75 yards, Bloomfield had a huge catch for 34 yards, uh, that really helped us get down the field. Um, defensive wise, uh, Sparks and Holly did lead us in solo tackles, TFLs, Glass and Shelby each had 2, Sacks wise, Glass and Shelby each also had 1, we did not get an interception or a fumble. Um, but hopefully we can change that next episode. Uh, so we will leave this game, um, and then I will see you. I will do the uh, scouting reports and finish that up. Hopefully we will get the upgrade here. Uh, we will see. So we are, did get the upgrade, which is nice to see. So we will go in the skill tree upgrades. Uh, we will go in and we will upgrade our scouting. Um, and so I will go finish up the uh, recruiting board for this week, and I will see you after that and show you. And we are back. We just finished up the recruiting board. So we did remove a lot of prospects that we we had no chance at getting that we couldn't scout. And also they weren't really worth getting. So we did finish scouting up quite a few of our players. Mainly these wide receivers, this center, this Stevens, and these outside linebackers in these corners. Then we did add a few more uh, recruits to our board, including these tight ends and alignment. We do have to finish scouting them to see if they're worth anything. Um, but right now, we are getting close on some of these players. Uh, so... Jeff Spencer, we are getting close to the top one. We're only 45 points behind Fresno State. Uh, we are the top one for Raymond Reese right now. We're only 15 points behind Marshall or Jeremy Abrams. Uh, we are the top one for Anthony Harris. We're only 90 points away from Fresno State for John Winston. Uh, We're only 280 points behind Houston for Reggie Mack, which is going to be a big one if we can get. For Jim Wise, we're only 210 points behind Tulsa in Louisiana Tech. Uh, hopefully we can jump up there and get him secure him for John Kemp we are behind on him uh, behind on him behind Tulsa on for him um, but I think that once we finish scouting people we help we'll have all those scouting points back I think we can put some points in him I think we can get him um, if you look at his stats um, his finesse moves isn't the greatest but his block trading being at 69 uh, power move at 70 uh, for a um, defensive end is not the best, but it's not terrible, and we will take it for 65 overall. Uh, but his hit power being a 79 and his pursuit being a 74 is uh, nice to see, and his strength being a 74 and his acceleration at 80. We do like to see that, so that's what we like in him. Uh, these outside linebackers, John Young, I am in the lead for, and Isaac Benson, we are behind, but we are slowly br bringing our weight up thanks to the 500 points that we are putting into him at the current time. Andy Brown, we are in the lead by a lot. We did knock Alabama out of the project. Uh, lock cut off 
so hopefully we can get him locked soon. We can knock him out. We can secure him. 79 corner would be huge for our team, especially him being an 85 man, 85 zone, 95 speed, 73 tackling, 78 play rec is an absolute big and massive grab for us. Uh, we're just lucky to be able to have a shot at him. Uh, ben Todd, we are behind on, but we are slowly gaining, and we're not even putting any points on him. So again, once we do gain those scouting points back, and we can start putting points on him, I think we can get up there and get into a fighting position for him. Nate Stewart, we are behind on, but we are slowly get building our way up. We will keep him for now, see if we can try to get our way up there. Maybe next week we'll get rid of him with the following week after that. Um, one of these people, Barrett uh, Taylor, we are behind on again. Hopefully when we get the Scotty points back, we can put points into him. Um, but I am looking to try to get all four of these corners here. Um, they all look decent. They're not terrible corners, and we will see. Um, these side ends and these own linemen, we have not finished scouting yet. So we will once we finish scouting them, we will decide if we want them. Um, so far, these uh, old linemen don't look great, but they don't look terrible. Um, we have to finish. We have even started scouting these two, and we have to finish. Um, Myers, Cole, and Powers, uh, and Williams. So hopefully we can get up there soon. Um, but with that, we will see you in next week's episode where we will face Baylor uh, for next week's. Um, and that will be for starting off next episode. Um, so with that, have a great day. Uh, click that like and subscribe button. Um, and if you have any suggestions or anything that you want me to try out on the series, please leave it down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.